morning. This is our second morning waking up in the new apartment. The lady who owns the place said that we could help us off to aubergines. She's growing in the garden, how cute. I'm gonna go and wake up. We've unlocked new terrain. Well, this is a good price, 100 for Silog. We can keep looking and come back. Unless you want to wait here. Hello. Come on, star. Come on, star. I don't know what that means. We're currently at Mag Papongo Rock Pools and Beach. We're gonna get something to eat first because we're starving. Come on. And we're gonna go and explore the pools. It's more like a lunch thing. Are you Should just wanting to my thing? Yeah. Should we just go back to that place? It had a hundred peso sea log. Oh, I love the Christmas decorations. This is so cute. Soy sauce. Mm. We love rice and eggs for breakfast. This is the soy sauce. Perfect, thank you. Maybe this is one of the places that does the creepy speaker with prayers. I have a giant bruise on my nose because I got washing machines when I was surfing and hit my nose. Oh, this is such a great blanket. And a spot. Kitty. Oh, oh. Stunning eyes. But your camera's crazy good. <laughs> Maybe I should have gotten the prize. Does that make sense? <laughs> I don't know why this place reminds me of like Blackpool or something. Blackpool. I've never been to Blackpool, but I really want to get Four for a hundred pesos. What if you just want one? I 95. Had, I had one big step Chargal. There was, but I was there in Chargal. I had one, okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, Cloud9 surfing. I'm a Santa Fe girl. Sugary bananas. Okay, right, that is pretty, isn't it? Not quite a treat. Oh, there's loads of places to eat on the beach. <laughs> wow, after we just ate right in the road. Oh, well. It's okay. Uh, 
whatever. Guys, I'm absolutely roasting. I wonder what the temperature is right now. It feels like 38. These are more expensive. Breakfast meals. Ah, uh, yeah, it is more expensive. Rice. Rice alone is 80. Okay. Two eggs on top of that. That would have been another 25. I reckon that would have been one thirty-five. See, same money less than yeah. Hi, puppies. so hot. We're going to wait in some shade before we go to the rock pools. It's stunning, but we've just got no energy. Look at the view here. girls went into the pools I've been lying here and I fell asleep and it was a good sleep I needed it well I didn't need it I'm just tired from driving here <laughs> and um, I woke up because the tree the, the sun moved out of the tree so I was in the sun and it was so hot but yeah it's been hot today um, I think I'm gonna go and run down meet the girls a bit worried about our stuff getting stolen if we just leave it here but Oh. Maybe uh, just try and keep an eye on it. Or maybe I'll move it further down. I'll ask someone around to keep an eye on it. Um, getting eaten alive here by uh, bugs and stuff. And I think I've been burnt again in the back of my legs from surfing, which is painful. So, yeah, gonna run down now and see the girls. I also bought this little thing for my phone in El Nido. Um, so I'll see if I can take it down now and get some footage of the rock pool. Everything might be crinkly right now. Might be what? Crinkly on my phone. Do you know if the tide's coming in or out? It's coming in for sure. I just think. I haven't really been watching. <laughs> Right, I see what you mean about the rocks. Horrible terrain. Feels like I'm walking on the moon. Okay, I've got my phone in one of those weird, crinkly, uh, waterproof little cases. So I don't know if you can see me very well. Hopefully. I've uh, swapped shoes with a Liz. I'm going into the rock pool solo because I was guarding our stuff. And now I've got these crops in four wheel drive. Look at me. <laughs> Hello. Hey. <laughs> How are you? Look, I'm just filming for YouTube. Oh, you're a YouTuber? <laughs> I have a YouTuber channel. Where's your YouTube channel? I'll follow you. I think your options here to climb on the rock. What are they doing? Are they lifeguards? Or are they busking? I can't quite tell. I think they're lifeguards. Um, your options here are to climb over the rocks or to walk around, I guess. So I'm going to walk around. And I found a friend. There we go. Hi. What's up? Bloody hell! Smash! 
the tide is coming in really strong. So the rock pools are filling up. I'm walking back now in a lizard's croc, so I'm so glad she gave me these. Um, but yeah, the tide's coming in really strong now, so I thought I'd better walk back. Maybe I should concentrate on walking on rocks instead of filming. <laughs> Can you actually get to it? Like, there must no be a way. I oh, really? Government property. Oh dear. We wanted to climb it. These waves are fat. Look at them barreling. Wow. Do you think I'd even be brave enough to go in? <laughs> look at the waves, they look so good. Not for beginners. Look, they're barreling. We've done a little beach crawl. We were at, what's the other place called? The Rock Pools? Magpacung. Go. something like that the rock pools and now well we we're on our way to Allegria beach but we passed Pacifico beach and I thought oh my god like this looks so nice the waves are barreling and the water's blue and there's so much sand and it looks just delightful and it's not too busy here either so we just decided to stop here there was a little lighthouse that we saw too um, and we wanted to just go on a little walk up there but then we realized it was connected to a restaurant and it's a government property no trespassing um so we didn't but we're here now um i'm tempted to get into the water but i haven't got power with me my surf instructor there are other surf instructors but power's just the best um so i might take a video of the waves and then ask Pal when i see him tomorrow or the next day um if i'm correct in what i think the peak is the shoulder and where i should be surfing because at the end of the day, if you can't surf by yourself, then are you really a good surfer? So yeah, gonna chill here now, relax, and do some wave jumping. So I'm gonna go surfing here at Pacifico. Pal's not here, which makes me sad, but there's another instructor and he said he'll go in with me. So it's 500 pesos for an hour and that includes the board, I'm gonna use an eight foot, and it includes a rash guard. And he said, I don't need shoes on this beach because it's not rocky. Um, so yeah, I'm not going over there because that looks terrifying. I'm gonna stick over there far far away from the peak because these are barrel waves and it looks terrifying but fun so I'm gonna be over there <laughs> not there no 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 <laughs> I uh, smacked my surfboard on my nose the other day. You can see it's still bruised. I got washing machines for at least like five seconds. I was tumbling and turning in the water and then I smacked myself. I was on a Currently in my favourite cafe, Sybil. And I could just envision myself living here, surfing every morning. Uh, and then coming here for my own cappuccino and working on my vlogs. I could do this for a couple months at least. But yeah, I uh, love this place. It's a cute little spot. It's good for people watching for sure.
bawat uh, third, 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 third lane. Uh, I can see him. Cause baby love to Bali in a way but maybe like eight years ago before it got really touristy and overpriced um, I've said to myself and I said to my service instructor too that I think I'm gonna come back uh, maybe around April time hey I want to come back around April time carry on practice surfing carry on just like living slowly and I like going to the cafes after a surf and getting a cappuccino and just chilling and focusing on work and editing content and YouTube and stuff like I can see myself doing that so I guess my plan is now to go back to Australia move to Early Beach learn to sail working on the boats working in the wet Sundays um, and then see how I go on enjoying that I have a feeling I'm gonna love it because I just love the sea but I just, there's no surf there so Maybe if I spend a month or two in Chargao next year, then I can look forward to that. But yeah, just walking through General Luna now, on my way to Sybil, which is my favorite cafe. It's uh, sort of become a little spot where I hang out, 
edit my uh, YouTube videos, have cappuccino gnomes and stuff. So yeah, just walking there because I had to give my motorbike back yesterday, which made me sad. So now I'm a walking sofa. Walking, walking. Oh, is this the place where we go afterwards when we're drunk? It is. Look. Normally after a night out, we come here and you can choose different foods. They've got lots of stuff. They've got uh, silog, pork, vegetables. I mean, just help yourself and sit down. This is where we normally go after a night out. There's a Shargao Beach Club there, which is one of the places where people go. Oh wait, no, this is the place. It's not there, it's here. It looks identical. <laughs> yeah, this is Shargao Beach Club. One of the famous places to go on a night out. Every day there's a new place to go. So I think on a Friday is Barbosa. Saturday is Parada. Um, and then one of the days is Shargao Beach Club. It's weird in there though, because they don't really have loud music. So you go in and it's pretty silent, um, but it's quite busy, you know, it's, it's all right. Everyone's there afterwards anyway. So it's lots of people to meet, lots of uh, friends to catch up with. So yeah, this is another place. This is another place we go to. I don't know if the girls are in here or not. I said, I would meet them at Sybil, and they're just there. They wanted to go to Big Mama Laundry because they got air cut on and Wi-Fi and whatever, but Sybil is my spot. I love it. It's a good place to people watch, uh, good coffee, good food. Um, they haven't got any air cut in there, but they got the fans on. And uh, yeah, I like the people there, the staff are friendly. It's a good little spot, it's my favorite cafe. I'll show you it when I get up to it in a minute. Never got to go to this place, but it's similar to uh, Cavada in the fact where you go there, you help yourself to the buffet, and then you pay afterwards. So you don't need to queue; just the food's already ready. This was the first cafe we went to on our first day. They have good food there, good coffee, um, but the seating upstairs, the seating downstairs. This area is all new; that wasn't there um, ten days ago. little shops, little markets, nothing too fancy. Everything's still very humble. This is it, this is Sybil. There the girls. My favorite cafe in all of Chargao. Sybil Cafe. Hello. This is Cavada, the place that I've been telling you about where you can help yourself. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> you can help yourself to food. You don't need to order anything. It's just like a buffet, you go and help yourself and then sit down and then you pay after. It's definitely a good place to go if you're really hungry because you know you don't need to wait for your food to be ready. You just turn up and you eat straight away.